Good morning, Beartooth Bears. Happy Wednesday to you. Hey, this is the last day this week. And don't forget you have Thursday and Friday off. Um, teachers, oh my goodness, enjoy your time. Kids, make sure you tell your teachers thanks for everything. It's been a month and a half, actually almost about two months to be honest. Um, but it's been a good, what, eight weeks? So yeah, we've been in about two months. Be sure to tell your teachers thank you before you leave for this break. They've they've been working so hard and doing so many things that sometimes you don't even see. You don't know everything that's going on, all the things that they're trying to do to keep you safe and keep learning fun and try to catch up kids that are gone. It's, it's been a challenge. It's been a challenge. And teachers, thank you so much. And we'll see you this afternoon at our time after school. But listen, kids, today our manor is Beartooth Manor number 24. And it sounds really simple, but it can be very complex to do. And this one says, no matter what the circumstances, be honest. That's it. Just be honest. And we talked last time that there's a way you can do that. I'm going to use my green jacket, for example, because I wore my green jacket for the house of disability today. So listen, if you don't like my jacket and I only if I ask you, if I said, Hey, what do you think of this jacket? It would be okay for you to, if you like it to say, that's awesome. I love it. If you don't like it again, it wouldn't be good to say, cause it might hurt my feelings for you to say, I don't like it. That green is horrible. Oh my gosh. It's so bright. Like it hurts my eyes. That That's not nice to say, but you could certainly say something like, well, you know, it's, it looks good on you. It's, it's not something I would probably wear because it's, it's really bright. Um, but it's your house and I, I see why you, why you love it and it fits well. It looks good. So there are ways you can say, it's not for me, but hey, it looks good on you. Or I can see why you like it. You're in the greenhouse. Got to have greenhouse stuff, right? Um, you could say something like that. That's okay. That's not going to hurt my feelings. I, I would be like, you know it. Absolutely. There's a way to deliver that and still be honest but without being mean and hurtful. So think about the words you're going to say and making sure that they're still taken the right way and you do it with the right tone um, and you can still be honest. And that's the important part. The other part of being honest is when you know you might get in trouble. And this is a really hard one because it's best to just be honest and take the consequences than to try to spin the story, come up with other things. And honestly, then it takes away more time from other people. It causes more problems down the road and it's just best to be honest the first time. It's best to be honest the first time. The hardest part is when something involves a friend and being honest about maybe when a, where a friend goofed up or where a friend made a mistake and you know that might get him in trouble. But again, it's best to be honest with the adult. It's best to be honest with yourself and also with the other kid because whatever happens, especially here at school, you guys, it's designed to make us better. That's part of making mistakes, right? Learners make mistakes. We learn from it, move on, but there is gonna be learning from it, whether that's the consequence whether that is a conversation, whether it's maybe even missing some privileges to have that conversation, whatever it may be, but you gotta be honest with it. You gotta be honest with yourself. You gotta be honest with the adults. You gotta be honest with, with your friend because they need to know too that that ah, wasn't very cool to do, whether it was to somebody else, whether it was to you, whatever the case, be honest. All right, so that's today's manner. Have a great Wednesday. We'll be seeing you guys sometime here later on this morning.